Hello and welcome to Brightness into G. My name is Vyacheslav and today it will be a very specific video because it's my weird report. A year ago, at the end of the January, I started to post videos each week. And it's very regular for me, because in the past I post videos once per month or once per three months sometimes. Very long breaks, yeah. And it, this year I was regular. And it was cool. I want to say thank you for watching these videos, because right now I live in Georgia and uh, here we have not so big old school community. Actually, we have only me and my wife. Of course, I can play online and have fun with this, but uh, posting these videos is one way to be uh, closer to community. I so happy that some people watch it and like and we think that videos is helpful or just fun. It's it's great. <laughs> Thank you. And today I tell you about my uh, new experience of the sphere, like old school player, about you know new decks, new accessories, <laughs> yeah, new stuff today. Buy or build. Also I tell you about plans for new year. 2024 because I will try to post videos each week again <laughs> one more year. Let's start from my collection update. It will be a short one. I already show you my budget memories collection for magic cards, but it's changed. Seriously changed because now I have the one old school magic deck, one pre-modern deck, and album that have cards for old school and pre-modern. And my wife have one this pre-modern deck, one old school deck, and album with cards. Old school and pre-modern. As you can see, collection become bigger twice, but uh, we have so many options to play with different decks. It's fine, and also we can move it separately. Like if I need to go on some magic trip <laughs> in the future, I can take just my cards, and my wife still can play online or with somebody. Actually, she doesn't play online. <laughs> also, in past year, I opened myself four new decks. Two for old school, two for pre-modern. Uh, first one is ten point old school magic control deck. Blue and white. Actually, I tried to build it for Atlantic before, mm, and you know, if you play against other control deck with some power, you will lost because control mirrors is slow, and your opponent will draw powerful card anyway. To play budget against power in the non-restricted mid game, you need to be faster. Yeah, control deck not fast. But then 10 points old school because power is restricted. Nobody can put all moxons and uh, blue cards in the deck. Uh, you still have chances and. Even with budget version, it's very powerful deck. I played uh, in the past with up, go to up to final in the one event, and it was my first experience. So looks like deck work <laughs> better than me, of course. Second old school deck that I opened to myself is Mono Green Stompy. Actually, Green and Black Stompy, Green Terror. It's fine deck. It's really good, but uh, <laughs> my last record in the tournaments with this deck is zero six. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that it's not about deck, it's my mistakes. I sense some of mistakes that I made and they was a critical. And also I think I have a lot of mistakes that I just don't see. I need more experience or maybe more practice or maybe just become smarter. <laughs> you know, become a better magic player, but it's so hard, yeah. Two pre-modern decks to open to myself is a green and black rock and blue and white let's steal. Uh, first day I play pre-modern deck. Uh, for myself. It was uh, that guy just to have a pre-modern deck for case that I will have a chance to play in Pepper. When I build one for my wife, because she wanted to play two, and that guy L and Fires, uh, it was a tier 2 decks. If we look at some pre-modern stats. And this new deck is like tier 1. Uh, Land Steel is good control deck. Of course, uh, when I build it, I even don't think that I will use uh, Blue and White control in 10 points old school magic, so I think it will, will be single control deck I can use in the future, because a long time I not played with control decks. And second, uh, Green and Black uh, Rock is just Greed, Green and Black midrange, and it's like control too, and have reanimation effects, so have a lot of interesting mechanics. Sadly, I don't play it the pre modern events, but I will play it in this year. Also, I made new type of videos on my channel. It's uh, not new for, you know, old school or any magic YouTube. Many people do it, of course, but new for my channel because I never opened a lot of booster packs. It was uh, interest. And the first I want to tell you that <laughs> it's not a good economical decision. If you bought booster pack like Homelands or Fallen Empires, you will never, you know, have the money back from rares, but at the same time it's so fun. Uh, I never opened the old packs. Actually, I even never big, was a big fan of opening packs. I play Magic 10 years and it was no one time that I buy a booster box to open boosters. Seriously, <laughs> I just take boosters as a price and buy one booster pack sometimes. Well, it was a new experience for me and it's 
Actually, it's all good to open these old cards and see it's all that works. It's fine. And it's all about 2023, and now I want to share with you my plans for 2024. I created a Patreon page, so now if you want to support me or my channel, you can join the Patreon and donate a dollar or two. But I still great support if you just leave a comment, press the like button and subscribe to the channel. As I mentioned before, I will post one video each week uh, about old school and pre-modern. It will be some deck techs, some duels with my wife or games from online events. I'll try to record it. Uh, never do before, but I try. <laughs> I think it will be fun. And I open some old magic boosters. Also, from February, I try to start a new topic. I will post it from Mondays or Fridays once per month. It's about my second hobby. Very binded with Magic the Gathering. It's a tabletop role playing game with bucks of dice. I say that it is binded because, in, in firstly, if I don't wrong, uh, Magic the Gathering was promoted on the role playing games festivals. And I, even I, years ago, known about Magic the Gathering only from a bookstore when I uh, bought the books about Forgotten Realms Universe, one of the DD settings. I prefer the old school style systems like Old School Essentials or uh, KL. And they run the games once each week, so it's a really important one for me too. Uh, it will be fun if you Magic players will like some of my favorite role-playing games, or if some people that like old-school role-playing games will look at my channel and will like old-school Magic. I'm not sure that some people will start to play, but maybe somebody, and it can be fun. I will show my favorite systems, some uh, accessories that I use, and uh, also I create the Cherok Manager applications for some systems. I show video guides for them too. And that's all. Thank you for watching up to the end. If you like my videos, please leave a comment, press the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching my videos again. It's very important for me. <laughs> have a nice day and have a nice week. Bye.